Today I'd like to give you a quick overview of BioSwing Dynamics. It's a revolutionary system that helps you understand what your swing dynamics are, what your biomechanics are and how they dictate how you need to swing the golf club. Basically there are nine swing patterns. There are potentially you can swing the club back on the shoulder plane and down on the shoulder plane. The club can go back on the shoulder plane and down on the torso or elbow plane. The club can swing back on the shoulder plane and come down on the shaft plane or hip plane. The club can go back on the elbow or torso plane and come down on the elbow or torso plane. It can swing back on the elbow or torso plane and come down on the shoulder plane. Or it can go back on the elbow or torso plane and come down on the shaft plane. Or you can go back on the shaft or hip plane and come down on the shaft or hip plane. You can go back on the shaft or hip plane and come down on the elbow or torso plane. And you can go back on the shaft or hip plane and come down on the shoulder plane. All nine are correct. We just need to dictate which one fits you best. Now, how the right arm works is going to dictate a lot. The right hand can be on top, it can be on the side, or it can be under, and it can be anywhere in between. What we'll do is we'll test to see which one is best. If your right arm is under, your elbow will tend to be pinched in and your right hand will tend to be more up or under the shaft. If your right arm is on the side, uh, your elbow will tend to be more in line with the crease on your shirt and the hand will be on the side. That's why we call it side on. And if the right elbow goes back and up and your hand is on top, we call that on top. They produce different release patterns and require different hinge patterns to work. An, an under golfer, when the right arm goes in this fashion, will always lay the club off. So they need to create a vertical hinge to offset it. So if I had an under, uh, under right arm position going back, I would need to hinge the club up vertically. And what that would do, would when I swing the club back, it would perfectly plane the golf club. Where the opposite end of the spectrum is an on top golfer. And on top golfer, the club tends to want to go across the line. So they need to have a diagonal hinge. A diagonal hinge is where the club hinges towards the right shoulder. What a diagonal hinge does, it lays the club off and it offsets the fact that the right elbow is coming up high and wants to go over. So a diagonal hinge will set the club here, an on top golfer will go here. So when they swing to the top, they plane the club perfectly. Side on, we'll use a horizontal hinge. A horizontal hinge sets the club back and creates a flatness here. What that does, that matches uh, the right arm going back in this position and it takes the club right up the right arm plane and puts it in perfect position at the top. All three are correct hinge actions. All three match what the right arm does. Now a person who is on top will tend to have what we call a cover release and he'll have a linkage. Now we're talking about linkage, we're talking about where the right elbow is relative to the right hip to the delivery zone. Linkage can either be, the right elbow can be behind the right hip, okay, that's rear linkage. It can be over the right hip, which is middle linkage, or it can be in front of the right hip, which is uh, front linkage. All three are correct, and they match different release types. Somebody who's coming down on top, the right elbow is always going to be behind, they're going to use a cover release. Cover because the right arm stays on top and makes the club go down and to the left. That works great for an on top golfer. Somebody who is an under golfer who uses a vertical hinge, they're going to have front linkage where the elbow gets ahead, the upper body stays back, and they use an extension release where everything is extending out and it's the rotation that pulls the club around. The side on golfer uses a horizontal hinge and they use a cornering release. Their linkage is going to be center. So when they come down, the right elbow goes right into the right hip and the club, the right hand extends to flat and lets the club turn the corner. That's why we call it a cornering release. A cover release, the right hand covers. A cornering release, the right hand flattens and the club turns the corner. An extension release is the arms extend out. All are correct, you just need to match the components. So what we're going to do is we're going to take you through a simple set of tests that's going to determine what your biomechanics are and find your golf swing.